Welcome back to Cardinal Strength Corner. This is for November 2016. This month, guys, our focus is going to be on lifting blocks, all right? And two reasons that we want to use lifting blocks, all right? Number one, to make sure that our taller athletes and our shorter athletes are pulling the bar from the same level, okay? So if you have a running back, for example, that is 5'9", and you have an offensive tackle that's 6'5", both athletes pulling from the floor is not going to be the same, all right? That taller athlete needs to pull from a higher level so that they're actually pulling from the same, uh, the same height, all right, when they execute their Olympic lifts, um, and anything really from the floor, all right? Number two, all right, as we go into higher blocks, and you'll see here in the next clip, all right, what we're trying to do is recruit faster twitch muscle fibers for our slower twitch athletes, all right? So take alignment again for an example. You might have alignment that needs to pull off of higher blocks, all right, to get the same kind of quick twitch effect that a, uh, a skill player already naturally has, maybe from the floor or a lower level of blocks. All right, now we're very fortunate here at Ball State to have our carpenters here at the university make these for us, and we're gonna actually show you in our third clip, all right, where you might be able to use other equipment or your racks, for example, that you have at your school, all right, to be able to get the same kind of effect um, that you would from lifting blocks if you don't have them, okay? So we're showing you our standard set of blocks right here. Coach Fakes is gonna come in, all right, and demonstrate one of our power cleans to show you what we're gonna look for, all right, as we pull off blocks here. All right, now, as you can see, the block height has, has increased, all right? The bar is sitting up higher. All right, Coach Fakes is gonna come in and demonstrate another rep, and what you're gonna notice this time is where the bar starts at. It is not at his knee like it was before. It's getting closer and closer to his thigh, all right? And he's gonna execute another lift, which is going to require faster twitch muscle fibers that he's gonna have to pull and accelerate very quickly. Here we go. All right, lastly, as we talked about before, not everybody has lifting blocks. If you don't, all right, there are many ways that you can utilize equipment that you have in your room to be able to get the same kind of effect. What we've done here is we've used our half racks and we're actually gonna do a power clean off of the safety catches. Now the only thing is once Coach Fakes gets the bar racked, he's not gonna be able to drop the bar the same as you would if you had blocks. He's just gonna have to absorb by flexing at the hip, all right, and catch that bar safely before he puts it back down for another rep. Go ahead, Coach. Good, right there. All right, so as we talked about, making sure, number one, that your big, tall players and your smaller players are pulling the bar from the same level, all right? Sometimes that's a good reason, all right, to utilize the blocks. Number two, some of your slower twitch athletes that pull from a higher block is gonna require faster twitch muscle fibers, all right, to be able to make sure that that bar gets accelerated fast, and we're trying to get that product in here to translate out into the field with whatever it is that they do, all right? Hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll see you next month.